Assalamu alaikum Dr. Maria here. Today in this video we will learn the pharmacological drugs that are used in the induction of labor with the help of story mnemonics and it is the part 3 of story. Whenever the topic induction of labor will come in exam just remember from induction word it is the induction of children in the school. With the help of previous story I have told you how to memorize indications of induction of labor and with the help of next story I have told you how to memorize contraindications of induction of labor. In this story which is the continuation of that story I will tell you how to memorize pharmacological drugs in a fun learning way. Here is the couple worried due to their children because their children tease them a lot. They want their admission in the school and they have two children. The name of girl is Diana while the name of boy is Oxy. Remember this. Diana is naughty. She teases mom. She has just riped mom's mind but she always remain glad. Now Oxy is naughty too. Teases mom but has not riped mom's mind. He always helps Diana. That is sister. Parents want the admission of Oxy and Diana but principal does not allow their admission in the school due to some reasons that will tell you the contraindications of induction of labor. Kindly watch the video link is present in the description box. But they have a miss. She wears precious stone necklace. She protests for them as she wants their induction in school. So their miss wants their induction. This is the story. Now how we will decode. As here the name of girl is a Diana which teases the mom and mom is uterus. So Diana teases mom. Teases mean causes contraction, irritation. So Diana causes irritation in mom mean Diana causes contraction in the uterus. So here Diana mean Dianoprostone. Teases mean uterine contractions mean irritation in the uterus. She has just riped mom's mind. She teases as well as riped mean cervical ripening. So Dianoprostone causes uterine contraction as well as cervical ripening. She always remain glad. Here glad mean it is the prostaglandin right. So Dianoprostone is a prostaglandin. So just remember Diana is a girl she wears two earrings. So it is prostaglandin E2. How easy it is. Diana is naughty, Diana is dianoprostone, teases mean irritation, contractions, mom is a uterus, she has just ripened, mean it also causes cervical ripening, she always remain glad, mean it is a prostaglandin and Diana is girl, she wears two earrings, so it is prostaglandin E2, right? Now, Oxy is brother of Diana. Oxy is naughty too. He teases mom. Mean he also cause irritation in the uterus. Irritation mean contraction. So here oxy mean oxytocin. Right? Teases mean uterine contractions. But has not ripened mom's mind. Mean it does not cause cervical ripening. This is very important point. Oxytocin does not cause cervical ripening. He always helps Diana. Diana is prostaglandin E2. It means that we have to give oxytocin after the Diana, mean after the prostaglandin E2 to help the prostaglandin E2, mean for augmentation of labor. You have not to give it for the induction of labor. If you have to give oxytocin, just you have to give for helping the Diana mean you have to give it for the augmentation of labor. So drug of choice is Diana. It is the best drug. And to help to augment the labor we will give oxytocin which causes uterine contraction which does not cause cervical ripening and it is used for augmentation according to current guidelines. Now Oxy and Diana have a miss. She wears precious stone necklace. She protests for them as she wants their induction in school. So miss protests. 
she is against her principal now how you will decode this from this miss we have two drugs that start from mi right so the name of first drug is mesoprostol M I here and M I here. Protests mean pro. Here the word is pro. So mesoprostol. As this miss protests means she irritates the principal. So both drugs will cause uterine contractions. And the second drug is you can decode from precious stone. Here the word stone. The first word will start from M I and middle is. P R I and the last is stone. That is the mefipristone, right? So mesoprostol and mefipristone are the two drugs which are also used for the induction of labor, right? So miss can be decoded as two drugs. Protests. They protest mean both causes uterine contractions, and they want the induction of children in school. Mean they can be given in the induction of labor. now another very important thing i have told you that you can give mesoprostol or mefiprestone or both only when there is intrauterine demise when there is a fetal death now tell me the miss wears what she wears precious stone and you know stone is a dead object so she wears stone that is a dead object so these drugs can be given in iud or intrauterine demise as we know that oxy diana and miss all cause uterine contractions oxy and diana teases mom while the miss teases principal mean in a nutshell all cause uterine contraction irritation right but one thing relaxes them they love a tall beautiful butterfly just remember this line why because when there will be uterine hyperstimulation when oxy diana and miss will be hyperstimulate just watch them a beautiful butterfly and how you will decode this tall beautiful a name of drug resembles to it that is the terbutalin so when they are hyperstimulate give them terbutalin to cause relaxation of the uterus because tall beautiful butterfly relaxes them so here relaxes mean you try in relaxation and why i have chosen butterfly because if i draw on the wings of butterfly it is like the shape of b right so this is one b and this is two b mean you can write it like this so terbutalin is beta 2 agonist tall beautiful butterfly relaxes them mean when there is uterine hyperstimulation just give them beta 2 agonist which is terbutalin to cause uterine relaxation just memorize these lines take the screenshot of these images in your mind and you are done with the, all the pharmacological drugs that are used in the induction of labor I hope you enjoyed the video like the video if you liked it share it and subscribe the channel thanks